I'm from St. George, Utah, and I'm a, a graduate of Dixie College. I got my associate's degree there. And we were out in Connecticut. Um, Connecticut's a wonderful place, but it's very different from my Western home. And I had uh, finished all my coursework for my PhD and decided that I was going to go in the job market, ABD, and finish my dissertation wherever I got a job. And thinking about it, now, St. George is a place that has really rapidly boomed. Um, and gotten away from its roots in a lot of ways. So when I uh, began looking for a job, I thought to myself, I'd really like to find a, a town and a school that's very similar to what Dixie College would have been like 30 years ago, uh, when the town was smaller, you know, a quiet desert town, a, a, a two-year school where there's a, a smaller student body, so there's a very strong sense of community, both on campus and off, and so I, uh, um, started looking and it wasn't very long before I found Eastern Arizona College and, and there were uh, four job openings in the, in the English department that year. So I applied and I, and I came out and I was just impressed from beginning to ending. Uh, one thing that really stands out to me is, is the day of my interview afterwards, uh, Mike Crockett and his wife Kim took me out to dinner. We went and, and had some great Mexican food downtown, which is something you don't come by easily in Connecticut, so I was really thrilled with that. Um, and everybody just really welcomed me in, and, and I found that to be the case. Um, when I, I came on campus and I started working, it was a very easy transition for me. Um, it was, uh, it felt like home. Um, it was a small campus where there's a, a strong sense of unity um, you know, amongst the faculty and the students, and uh, it made it really nice. Um, a particular incident that uh, stands out to me is um, a couple of years ago when John Rice was new to the faculty, he um, had a, a personal illness that uh, necessitated his moving from a second floor apartment to a first floor apartment. Um, but it was John's first year here, so he had no, no uh, family in the valley and I would imagine he didn't know a lot of people. And I was on the faculty association executive committee. So somebody told me that, that he needed help moving and I, I put the word out. Um, through uh, email and uh, that Saturday morning when I showed up to help with the move I was just amazed. There were just a ton of people out there and it, it wasn't just faculty. Uh, there were an awful lot of students there as well which I didn't expect. And th this says two things about our campus. One, it, well it says something about John, about how well liked he is, um, but it, it says something about the sense of community that we have here uh, and, and the spirit that you find on campus. There were so many people, there was just a continuous line going from his apartment down the stairs, around the corner, down the sidewalk into his new apartment. And we had him moved in, in no time. And I think that that uh, real sense of community support and uh, solidarity that we have here with the faculty and with the students is something you find in every facet of EAC and it really represents the spirit of this college. The other thing to think about is, is just what an amazing uh, boon this college is for the, the entire community. Um, to have the athletic and the um, artistic, you know, both performing arts and, and uh, the other arts, um, available to us through the college like we do here in this valley is just really unusual for a population of this size and I know my family and I we are constantly going to performances and to ball games and to other events here on campus and we really have a good time and and you see how invested the community is and I think one of the things that impresses me is, is the generational nature of that connection that I see in the students and in the community. Um, for the students to attend here, I have students from, from oh, you know, St. John's, Round Valley, and from you know, over in, in Maricopa County and other places, and they have this, this bond to the college that stretches back you know, through their grandparents and further back quite often, and so it's a tradition for them to come here. Uh, and then, you know, just again looking at the community involvement here in the Gila Valley, it's just really impressive. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, it really is just again one other thing that makes it a great place to be. I'm Pete Chittister, and I am a fighting, biting Gila monster.